Many folks are familiar with Springfield's XDM series. It's been around a long time, guys, and most have heard of it. Now, Springfield, not long ago, released kind of the newer line called the Echelon. At least they have this one, the Echelon. Now, what is the Echelon? You know, is it really something new and earth-shattering? Now, for all the XDM fans, is it going to win you over? There's only one way to find out. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where you only get product reviews, no pulpit, podium, or politics. I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, the Echelon claims to set the new standard for modern striker-fired duty pistols. Now, I will say it has some innovative designs besides the being fully ambidextrous, and that's huge for a lot of the lefties. Now, I'm really interested in seeing how the optics mount works you know, let's take a quick look at specs and tech. Now, some of you I know, you have ADD and you really don't want to do the whole out of the box, you know, the features up close, how to break it down, the innovations, etc. For those of you that have that, you can skip to the time here below at the bottom to skip all that. But if you ask me, that's really the important stuff. Now, I just want to say Springfield hit the ball out of the ballpark with the Viz, guys. I literally hate, and I can't emphasize, and I don't use that word a lot, I hate all the optic companies that have their own proprietary mounts um, and all the plates that you have to get to mount uh, your optic on the pistols. It, it goes beyond ridiculous. The Viz is really thinking out of the box. It works great. Check out all the different options you have with the pins provided with the gun. This could be the wave of the future. All right, the gun itself, one thing that I noticed right off the bat is it is ambidextrous. Okay, we've got both sides. Slide release. Slide release. Okay, so the serrations on the slide, they don't look aggressive, but they are. They're deep, um, and they feel great. I like them. Okay, same on the back, and on the back, actually, they come up over the top, but if we're going to have an optic on that, that plate's going to come off, so we won't have them on there. We've got a essentially a fixed rear sight other than can tap it for windage. Same, fixed on the front sight. It, it's a wonderful sight picture. Okay, the texturing, it's different. Um, this is very unique as far as the other XDMs. This is a lot more like the Prodigy, which I find very comfortable. It's because of the 1911 and the double stack, it's, it's a lot fatter. This is more my liking. This is the thin of the XDM that I'm used to. Okay, and we have chamber indicator here. We've got sort of some dimpling with texture up here for the trigger finger and then over here for the thumb. Something I wanted to point out with the trigger is the trigger is polymer. I'm not a fan of polymer triggers. I would like to see this metal. As far as the trigger goes, it's pretty standard XDM type um, match grade trigger. Pretty short reset. Got a little bit of travel, little bit of mush. But it's a nice trigger. Ergonomically, very comfortable. Very comfortable. We've got a four slot rail up here. I like that. Sometimes, you know, 
you'll see guns come with one slot and then, and then you have all this empty real estate. I never really understood that. So, you know, I'm glad to see four slots here. We have the threaded barrel and it comes with two 17 round mags. Okay, I almost forgot to do the breakdown. Yeah, and I've had to come back here. I've got the Trigicon on here. I love the breakdown on this. Okay, we just dropped the mag out. And the nice thing is, is you don't have to do this or the pull the trigger. This just simply moves down like that. And we slide off, okay? And then, you know, the normal breakdown. There we go. I would like it to be able to take take it out with the thread protector on. I'm gonna try again here just in case I'm missing it. Okay, so I'll try again and at least me, I can't get that out with the thread protector on. That is something I would change. Um, a lot of guns do that and I, I don't care for that feature. And then we just simply go all on Love that. Okay. Love the breakdown. I'd fix the thread protector. I just want to do a quick comparison here. The Echelon with the XDM. Now, this is a 10 millimeter. This feels thinner and just less sturdy than the XDM. Um, it, you can, I don't know. To me, it just, it feels not as strong, kind of flimsy compared to what I'm used to with the XDM. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Um, feel and everything else, and we've got the metal trigger here. I personally like the XDM more. I will say, the Echelon, it feels really good in the hands. And if you have questions on it, they've got some great videos out there um, that go into more detail, especially on Springsfield's site on the Viz. Okay, so I did a review of Olight's Valkyrie Turbo, and I used this straight out of the box sometime back. Check out the footage real quick that I did straight out of the box with the iron sights at night. Okay, so here's the Valkyrie Turbo. That's at 50 yards. That's awesome. That's going to be easy shooting. Now, what I, I am going to try, I'm not sure. Yeah, we've got some night sights on here on this Echelon. That's sweet. Uh, we're going to find out, and then same, there's 100, easy to see, 200, let's, uh, let's bang on some steel here with these night sights. Okay, so this is using the night sights, there you can see them, you can see those illuminated, alright, so let's see how well we can, we can pull this off. Easy. That's at 50 yards. Here's 100 yards. Okay, shooting 100 yards with iron sights in daylight can be challenging. I can see it. Um, it's just holding it steady here. There you go, guys. Echelon with the night sights with the Valkyrie at 100 yards. <laughs> you decide what you think.
Real quick, folks, would you like to find guns and ammo at crazy, stupid prices? You know, I kid you not, I find the best deals out there. Just go to my webpage and sign up for the emails. Costs you absolutely nothing. You can unsubscribe at any time. Links below in the description and also right up here uh, on I can't remember which side. And it'll take you straight to the sign up page. Also, same thing on my Twitter slash X page. Only in real time I find those crazy, stupid deals on ammo. You only wish you could find. Don't take my word. Go see for yourself. You definitely are going to want to check out my webpage while you're at it. Lots of good stuff there. I don't sell anything. I just find the deals and provide the links. Uh, let's get back to the review. Thanks for your time. Okay, next I wanted to put on Trijicon's RMR just simply because that's what was on Springfield's images on their site. So let's get that mounted and check that out, see what we can get for groups. I can't see, They're pretty steady. Let's uh, let's go take a look at that group with 115 grain. You know, it's uh, it's really not what I'm used to getting. Um, you know, it may not like the 115. Kind of a little far over. Let's try the 124 grain and see if it likes that a little bit better. Guys, I really, I really don't know what to tell you. That's the 147 grain. I have no idea what was happening there. None. Um, so there was the 115. There was the 124. I mean, that's, that's respectable. Okay. And then I have no idea what happened to the 147. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark all these. Let's try the 124 again and see if we can get similar. All right. So, you know, out of 10 shots, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's getting, it's acceptable. I don't know what is the deal with the flyers i really don't know we've got one there you know this if we draw here so that's all but two shots two i got no explanation two flyers okay and then there's eight shots which would basically be in my hand that works um i have no clue what happened with 147 guys um you know i can tell you it's not necessarily my best day shooting but hey that works. Uh, let's, um, I did, well, I tried to do one click. I'm not actually getting palpable or audible clicks on that Trijicon. Kind of, uh, actually is disappointing. Let's, let's see if we can bang it a hundred with this. Well, that's pretty decent. I was just going to say, we don't have any wind. We really don't have too much wind here. Let's, uh, let's just give it a go at 200. doing really good there.
Okay. It's actually not shooting to the right. It seems to be shooting dead center. Yeah. Okay, so we're kind of doing this in reverse order. We started off uh, at night shooting at distance and then uh, went to shooting at extreme distance and now we're back at the CQB range. Let's just have some fun with the echelon. I want to be honest, I have a hard time pulling up the Trigicon really fast and getting a good sight picture. It's not bad. Um, the window on the Trigicon is is too small for me, guys. Um, I, I just have a really hard time acquiring that. Okay, so I took the Trigicon off, you know, and. The iron sights on this are really nice. Um, let's see what we can do. I've got, uh, this one's 115 and the other two are 147. Let's see what we can do with just the iron sights straight out of the box as it is. last thing here I switched back to iron sights you know 50 yards 115 grain you know most of you are familiar with my shooting let's see what we got at 50 yards with the iron sights. Okay, so you know with iron sights uh, put up a bigger target one two three four five six seven eight nine um, probably not one of my best groups in fact <laughs> one of my worst groups with the spring field at 50 yards, even with iron sights. Uh, okay, now I'm also working on a review for Sealy's new Bull X Pro. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, this looks really interesting. Quick, I just want to show you the field of view with the Sealy Bull X Pro. Um, it's it's great. I mean, you've got a massive sight picture there. You know. Okay, so you can see the 115 grain is the red. And I had one one hit there and one hit there. I was aiming here, and that's what I got with 115 grain. That's not good. Um, yeah, it just, the only thing that I can come to the conclusion is, is it just really does not like 115 grain. Because here's five shots of the 124 grain covered with my hand. So... You know, we may do just one click to the right and see if we can bring that up and surround it around there. Okay, so, you know, I moved to the 124 grain. I started out down here. I made some adjustments. It came up a little bit. And then I had, what was it? Uh, it was one, two, three, four. And then I did another four. Um, you know, that's the 124 grain. Let's mark around these and let's try 147. Okay, well, the 147 um, really had almost the same kind of results uh, when we had the Trigicon on. I was aiming here. Let's uh, back up here. So I was aiming here and I was getting all these shots. And that, you know, if you remember back with the Trigicon, Kind of doing the same thing, you know. I think I'm just going to stop here. I'm going to take the, the bull because i got to do a review for Sealy. And I'm going to move that on to a different gun. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this one up. Guys, you decide what you think. You know, it is what it is. So this actually has absolutely nothing to do with the Echelon whatsoever. Other than the local supermarket called me. Because they know I love to shoot and blow things up. And they had a ton of pumpkins. So let's just blow up a pumpkin with the Echelon. I don't know about you, but that was horribly unsatisfying. 
Let's try this again with a Winchester to self-defense around 124 grain plus P. Uh, let's see if we get a little more uh, pizzazz. Yeah, so I don't know about you, but that was more along the lines of kind of what I was thinking. What a difference between 115 grain full metal jacket and Winchester's, uh, what is it, self or critical defense, the 124 grain plus P. I mean, there you have it, guys. It is what it is. Like I always say, you decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. That really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range and we're shooting, that makes us ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So do us all a big favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.